Hi folks, this is Sami from NC Ferroman. Greeting from Bloodstock. Brilliant. And what brings you to Bloodstock on this another sunny day? Uh, cider and good friends. And of course, there's a bunch of interviews to do. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> okay, so do, would you like me to uh, tell us a bit about your band? Well, NC Ferroman is a, is a folk metal band from Finland. Uh, we started back in 95. We're one of the oldest bands in this genre. And we just going to release our our fifth album, Unsung Heroes, in two weeks, so check it out. <laughs> uh, so how long have you been together now? Uh, uh, from year 95, so... Oh, a little while. A while, yeah. <laughs> so um, you've had plenty of practice, you could say. Yes, yes. We're all geezers and, yeah. And are you the original lineup still, um, member-wise? No, because when the guys started the band, they were like, you know, 15 years old. But the, uh, the founder of the band, the heart and soul of the music, the main composer, he's still around and well, I think NC Firm will be around as long as he's alive anyway, so I think we had this lineup for uh, four or five years or something like that, but it's, you know, at, at some point you come to a point where you have to make decision what, you know, the, of, of priorities in life, so it's understandable that, you know, people want to have families and regular job and and we started have a lot of offers for tours, and it's a hard life. And, you know, not everybody is up to it, so you know there's no bad blood between us and ex-members anyway. So we're good friends. That's very good. And do you prefer uh, fest going to festivals or being playing at festivals to more indoor uh, bass shows? Uh, they both have good sides and bad sides. Well, not bad sides. You know, playing live is the best thing you can do with the pants on. Well. Well, we have killed, so I can't actually use that phrase. Shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, of course, festival shows are incredible experiences, you know, and you have like 50,000 people, you know, shouting. and it's, But on the other hand, I really like when it's like 300 people venue, you know, sweating and, you know, people are right here and uh, sweat and tears and shit and blood and vomit and it's... Sorry, and beer, and, and beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really like that also. It's really intense. And tell us a bit about the uh, new album coming out. Mm, well, it's uh, our fifth album, so uh, of course it's going to be a little bit different than previous ones because we want to evolve as uh, musicians and as a band. You know, take step forward or somewhere sideways. <laughs> uh, but on the other hand, I think it's. Uh, there's something, something from the early period, in a way. I think that comes from the organic sound. We had really long discussions about the album. We want to have a raw, organic sound, and no triggers. And when we recorded the drums, we, we whole band played at the same time, and uh, we played whole song all the time. And uh, that way, it has like natural groove. And also, we use a lot of those bass lines from the drum sessions. So it's a little bit old school, and then we combine it with um, kind of these new elements that we have had for the last album, for example, these big orchestrations. And uh, we were much wiser with the uh, arrangements. You know, this time if there is a cool, uh, strong guitar riff going on, then we cut down all the extra tracks. And on the other hand, when there's like beautiful folk or orchestrational part, uh, we cut down some guitar tracks and stuff like that. So. We were much wiser on this album, and of course there are a lot of things we'll notice now that okay we could have done this and this better, but it's not like it's like the last album of the world. We'll be just wiser for the next album. But it's a really cool album. Uh, gonna be difficult in a way. It's not an easy album that way, but uh, I'm sure if people are patient and give it time, few more spins, and they will see that it's actually a album of the year. <laughs> And are you Small fate, no more tribute here. <laughs> <laughs> and so, are you going to be um, gigging, uh, touring? Yes, uh, we're going to start the European tour in uh, September. We're going to also come to UK. See you there. And we're already planning to do a proper UK tour, to just tour UK for two weeks or something like that. So, I'm sorry, you can't get rid of us. We'll be back. One in or not. <laughs> and as you say, you've been around since 1995. Um, what advice would you give to a lot of the new bands, young bands that, that are playing here this weekend? Mm, just be honest to yourself. 
and do not uh, intentionally try to imitate anyone, just try to find your own thing and most of all uh, have fun, you know, have a lineup that you you enjoy each other's company and not just like hired guns, you know, just have similar minded people who enjoy writing music together and you know, that's what it all should be about, that's the very foundation of good music and don't stress about the uh, business side too much. And uh, as there's been a lot of changes with music, like they've gone from uh, albums, vinyl, uh, CDs, mm -hmm. then download. There's um, now a sort of thing about vinyl coming back. Mm -hmm. How would you like? Would you like to see your album also released on vinyl? Or is they it, are they released. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant. You know, we're all geezers. We want to have <laughs> at least for ourselves. But that's true. Uh, vinyls are getting more popular, and I think that's really cool because the sound is much better, and it also uh, gives much more credit to the the artwork. You know, I remember when I was a young kid and saving money to go buy Iron Maiden albums. It was ah, so cool just to see Derek Riggs uh, artwork. And then you got CDs and like, ah, anybody have my magnifying glass? Uh, yeah. And they're collectible. I think. Yes, yes. And they're something that people can keep. Yes. Yeah. I do like um, vinyl <laughs> as well. <laughs> but again, most of the things are now on like CD, so mm -hmm. or and even less now of this because it's downloads. Yeah. So I think the the art has been lost a bit. So it'd be good to see it. Unfortunately, it unfortunately, yeah. But let's see. We shall see. And. Uh, in between making albums, touring, etc., etc., mm -hmm. what else do you do to relax on your time off? <laughs> well, of course, you know, we tour a lot. And uh, of course, when we get back home, it's nice to see family and friends and uh, do normal stuff. You know, of course, we write new music all the time as much as possible, also. And, you know, go movies, read a book, exercise, have drinks with friends. <laughs> Yeah, normal, normal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, being here at Bloodstock, mm -hmm. are you going to get a chance to see any bands? I have no idea yet, but, but of course I'm trying. It would be cool to see Ethonic. They are. We toured with them 2007, and of course I saw them then like 20, 30 times. But it would be cool to see them now because I really like their last album. Yes. Yes. It would be cool to see them live now because I'm sure they are also. A better live band now than you know five years ago. So, but let's see. Uh, I'm most mostly here to do promotional for promo for the our new album, and of course work comes first. And and I have a lot of friends here, so if I end up having a drink with everyone, I have no time to see any bands. So <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. So um, you're only here for today. Hmm? Or, yeah. Well, I arrived last night, but uh, I knew I'm gonna have an early wake up. We just came to pick up, pick up the bracelets and went to sleep. And anyway, uh, day before I had a small party and slept like three, four hours. So last night, uh, seven hours sleep was definitely needed. <laughs> so I can, you know, keep going today. And so where are you tomorrow? Uh, I'm gonna fly back home right. like four o'clock. So you know, I have time to heal my hangover. <laughs> Best way. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, Sami, it's been a pleasure to talk likewise, to you. Likewise, likewise. And thank you for all that wonderful information, especially uh, the advice for the young, all the young bands yeah. out there. Pleasure Keep the faith and, you know, believe in yourself and it's not so serious, you know, how, how to put it, you know. Of course, you know, when you compose, do it seriously, but don't take the business side too seriously, you know, so that you don't lose your focus, that's what's important. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>